Come closer, little. Interesting song. Thanks. Human prisoner used to sing. I thought maybe practice, sing with him. But then he was in corpse pile, so no singing with him. Happy to sing to you, though. Notice my humble collection. Just a few specimens the Guardians have brought to Genesis. sound weird, but they look kind of happy in there. I had to keep them as a group. If I kept one by itself, it would just keep whining all the time. The night. Kind of making me feel sad for them. Their little arms always creep me out. is not really happy to be locked down in the display case, but I cannot have them popping about. Terribly distracting. didn't see you there. Hang on. I... No. Not a sword of saying Helios. <laughs> Better off in there, pal.
Soldier commander. Soldier commando takedown. Level five reps available. Excellent work, Wu. That's a victory. Long sidelines here. I'm gonna tell you something I learned the hardest way. You gotta be nice. Nice to everybody. Not just the food nipple manager, but everybody. Because you can call a guy an egg face one time. One time, and it's very funny. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. But then, probably, even if it's just three times, everybody asks why you're so mean all this. Even though you only said the mean thing like maybe six times. Ungoy was up talking about battles. And my buddy Gripple was saying all about how he shot at a Spartan human once. No kidding. I mean, I'm serious. And it was an amazing story. It was the kind of story that makes you proud to do a war. Even though we don't do wars with humans no more because the Arbiter said not to, right? <laughs> ah, it was so amazing. We forgot we've been told to be asleep. I'm serious, like eight times already. But everybody was yelling, so I started yelling too, and you know how it feels to yell real loud about something? I mean, real loud! Ah, feels great. So, here is a big question. Do humans make eggs? True, or the other one? I know you give up, so I'll tell you. I don't remember, actually, but it was a question we had to know. 
Another one was, what kinds of things humans breathe? Not waters. You put them in waters and forget about it. Ha! They get real quiet after breathing waters. <laughs> Your stuff look different sometimes. I mean, like guns or the arbiter. Wait, do you remember being more purpler? I do. Eh, maybe just my eyes getting smarter, but I swear sometimes it's like there's a whole spaceship is different. Nobody says anything. Was the gray bite always so much scary? I don't know. He was like a big puppet, big flappy thing. Eh, maybe just. New learns, push out the old stuff. You ever have that happen? Like, I'm so good at charging plasma pistols and throwing grenades and also being friends. I used to be real good at quantum theories once, but then I got way into throwing grenades. <laughs> I think it was a pretty smart decision, you know, since so much of doing war is knowing when to throw grenades or something. Huh? Hey, you want to do secret telling? Because I got one that makes me very regret it each time I do memories. Because once, I was in a very danger place, me and a bunch of other uncles, like maybe 20 or 50 of them, I forget, but a lot. Things were getting more and more dangerous, and there was maybe going to be an exploding suit. I don't know, so we had to escape in a ship before nighttime. But I do remember that the ship was real teeny smallest and could only do seats for one uncle. Only one. There wasn't room for nobody else. Nope. Nope. And I told everybody. So, along the way to the ship, everybody was doing so much fighting because of not enough seats. And some ungoys was killing others or doing cries or being braver and making heroic sacrifices. Oh, oh, so very emotional. And then, there was only me. The last ungoy alive, and I finally got to the ship. And it was huge. Huge. You'd have to be crazy to think there was no seats. But anyway, that's my regretted memory. Did I say regretted? I meant proudest. I brought in some piles of rocks just for company and had so much fun in that big old ship. Ungoy should get more honors. We do all the dangerous jobs, even though you have to be really tough and not cry when you do them. Trust me, because I heard uh, from a friend that if you have active camouflage on and do a cries, it makes a big sizzle sound, and everybody can see me hiding in the corner, and the mean kid you are in charge of the recruits, it gets all shouty and gives me hard little bite. God damn my legs! <sighs> so yeah, super dangerous. There's all kinds of honor and dangerous stuff. One night, I was sneaking around in the ship. I mean, I was walking, right? <laughs> Just regular walking. But this one sang Healy song, and he got mad. And started yelling about how there's no honor in being a sick. Just missed all the fun. Assault on Sunion draws near. Fancy remains inoperative. I do not yet understand why. Figure it out. We need every Banshee in the air. Did you check the anti-gravity drive? That is not the problem, human. Did you check the anti-gravity drive? 
That is not the problem, human. This is Governor Sloan, broadcasting on all frequencies. People, if you are still planets... Someone didn't want it to be found and sent it in a direction no one would expect. Assassination! The enemy core is vulnerable. Enemy captured the fortress. Covert major takedown. Level four Rex available. Eliminate 
to rocket launcher. Incoming Covenant at the outpost. Covert Major at the outpost. Covert Major takedown. Threat detected at the crane pit. Promethean warp imminent. is at the crane pit. Wreck confirmed. Off the fire. Wreck confirmed. Incoming Covenant threat detected above the crane pit. Wreck confirmed. Keep your heads Incoming down. Incoming Covenant. We got the Barton. Sarolem's Banshee is above the crane pit. Sure.